Hey guys, the objective of today's video is to talk about the specific surface of soils. Now the specific surface of a material is defined as the ratio of the surface area to the mass or volume of a material. Let's do a couple of examples to see how this is evaluated. So let's say we have a cube. Okay, and its dimensions are 1 by 1 by 1 centimeter. The specific surface would equal the surface area, so that's 6 multiplied by 6 squares, which is 1 by 1 square centimeters, divided by the volume, which is 1 cubic centimeter. And this works out to be 6 units per centimeter. So let's say now we have a 1 by 1 by 1 millimeter cube. The specific surface will work out to be so 6 by 1 by 1 square millimeters divided by 1 cubic millimeter. And this works out to be 6 units per millimeter. Let's just do one last example. So let's say we have a 1 by 1 by 1 micrometer cube. The specific surface will work out to be, so that's surface area, 6 by 1 by 1 square micrometers divided by 1 cubic micrometer. That equals to 6 units per micrometer. Okay, so if I, if I was to convert all these specific surfaces into millimeters, so this, this would work out to be 0 0.6 units per millimeter. This second one stays the same, and this third one would work out to be 6,000 units per millimeter. So here you can see that large particles have a smaller specific surface compared to smaller particles. So we can conclude that the specific surface is inversely proportional to the grain size of a soil. A larger specific surface would mean more water adsorption cap capability of the material, but this also means a larger volume change due to change in water content, and this actually results in worse engineering properties. In practice, specific surface is not computed because soil grains are irregular in shape. It has also been found that fine grain soils generally have larger moisture contents compared to coarse grain soils. And this concludes today's video on specific surface. Hope this helps guys.